come from a family background that education is very important. Like I just feel like I'm not very an academic person. I don't like exams. Like exams give me so much pressure. They give me headache. Like I just don't like exams. Every time when I used to have exams in that hall and all these examiners walking forward and backwards, it, it just used to give me a headache. It just used to pressure me too much. To be honest with you, I really didn't do well with my GCSEs. I literally failed most of my GCSEs. I remember that feeling when I came back home from results day and I literally went to my room and sat on my bed and cried my eyes out. I was so ashamed of myself. Like, I just felt like I let everybody down. I let myself down. Like, I legit thought that I wasn't gonna make it. I literally thought that I wasn't going to make it. I thought I was going to be a failure. I thought I was going to be an embarrassment. It's your girl Fast, and I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I hope you guys are having a blessed weekend. Listen, y'all, I've been gone for a whole week. Okay, it feels like centuries, but I've actually been gone for a whole week. And I know I've been slacking, but you know, bank holiday weekend came up, and y'all probably thinking you was turning up or something. No, I was just resting eating, sleeping, chilling. I went back home to my parents to rest and I had like other stuff to do there. So apologies y'all, but your girl is back, back again. So y'all, today's video is going to be about my journey from doing my GCSEs to now. Okay, and y'all probably thinking, sis, why are you even telling us this? Like, baby girl, why are you even telling us? Listen, I know a lot of y'all have received your GCSE results, okay? Majority of you guys have, you know, passed with flying colours and I'm so happy for y'all. Listen, hard work has paid off, okay? But, you know, some of y'all, you know, might have not passed and might need some encouragement, some good wisdom of words and you know I'm here to help I have a story to tell you have a story to tell everybody has a story to tell so you know today I'm just gonna give you guys a mini story about me because you know my journey from then to now has not been easy at all like I never thought in a million years I was able to even finish school, sixth form, even get into university. Like, I legit thought that I wasn't going to make it. I literally thought that I wasn't going to make it. I was going to make it to university. I thought I was going to be a failure. I thought I was going to be an embarrassment to my family and the whole community of my hometown because, you know, my town the Swahili community likes to talk a lot and I thought I was gonna embarrass my mum and my dad like for real for real but let's just get into it okay I come from a family that is very academic majority of my family members have gone to university have studied a degree masters PhD like they've traveled around the country to study my mum traveled at different countries to study like Literally, I come from a family background that education is very important. Like, if you ain't got an education or you haven't gone to uni, like, it's an issue. And then you've got one or, one or two family members that couldn't be bothered to study or couldn't be bothered to continue their studies. But, like, literally, it's a lot of pressure. And, you know, it's really hard because I'm going to be really honest with you. I don't know, some people might say that it's laziness. Or I just couldn't be bothered but I just feel like I'm not very an academic person like I just feel like I'm not very an academic person I don't like exams like exams give me so much pressure they give me headache like I just don't like exams every time when I used to have exams in that hall and all these examiners walking forward and backwards it, it just used to give me a headache it just used to pressure me too much and I just couldn't do it I just couldn't do it and 
to be honest with you, I really didn't do well with my GCSEs. I literally didn't do well. I literally failed most of my GCSEs. Like, I only did well on the subjects that I really liked, and that was probably just textiles. That was, like, my favourite subject. Like, I used to literally, during my lunchtime, I used to go and do my coursework. Like, that's how much I loved textiles. But everything else, I just didn't like it. And to be honest with you, when it came to picking my choices and options for my GCSEs, my mum didn't mind me, like, choosing the subjects that I wanted to do but as long as it didn't have BTEC and I really wanted to do BTEC during GCSEs but my mom wasn't having it she was like you're not gonna do no BTEC you're not gonna do no BTEC in this family are you crazy what BTEC is this who's gonna do BTEC she literally was not having it and I really wanted to do BTEC because I just felt like BTEC was very beneficial for me you don't get to do exams and I'm more of an assignment coursework person than an exam person like exams give me so much headache y'all like it's just too much pressure i'd rather just do the coursework the assignments look at all these books references and just go about my business i just feel like i received more support with my btech courses from my teachers than my gcc subjects like honestly i to be honest with you, i enjoyed my subjects for sixth form when i did btech than when I did GCSEs. But don't get me wrong, it's hard. Like, it's hard, you know, having assignment after assignment after assignment after courses. But it was just so much better. It was way more beneficial for me. I concentrated more. I even, like, got 840 UCAS points here because I got distinction and a merit in health and social care and a distinction and a merit in media. I just felt like my mum was putting so much pressure on me and I know it's for my own good. I remember that feeling when I came back home from results day and I literally went to my room and sat on my bed and cried my eyes out. I was so ashamed of myself. Like, I just felt like I let everybody down. I let myself down. I was literally like, no, what is that person gonna say now? What is that person gonna say now? Everybody's gonna start talking. You know, you know, around the family, asking questions and all types of madness and whew, it, it, it was just too much. But to be fair, like my mum, my mum was very supportive, but she was just like, you need to work 10 times harder now. At that point, I was like, no, I need to choose my own subjects that I'm very comfortable in. So that's when I chose media and health and social care. And I really loved media. Like, I loved media. I loved health and social care. I loved media because most of the coursework was just all practical. It was just, some of it was theory. But most of the courses in media was just practical. And I loved health and social care as well because it was just pure coursework. No exams, just coursework. And most of it was just practical and it was just peaceful and it was so beneficial for me and I knew I was gonna just do well by the end of the year and you know what I don't regret it I don't regret my journey because I just felt like it just taught me that even though when life gets you down you gotta get back 10 times harder like you just can't go out there in this real world and just expect people to just hand things to you you gotta work your ass off. To be fair, I, the reason why I never thought I would go to university is because obviously most of the courses in uni you have to have maths and English and I literally thought to myself, it's not gonna happen. It's literally not gonna happen because I don't have maths and English and I still don't have maths and English and I went to uni. Can you imagine? I don't have maths and English but I still went to uni. Like, I was like, it's never gonna happen. No uni is gonna accept me and my Dumb GCSE results. I found this course, which was early years and childhood studies top up degree that I was able to do with that maths and English as long as I had 120 UCAS points. But baby, I had 840 distinction and a merit. I got a double distinction and a merit on my media course and health and social care so i was like hunty i'm gonna be going to uni and that's when i got a conditional offer and then by the end of my by the end of sixth form i had more than 120 ucas points hunty i had 840 ucas points like i was like honey i'm off to uni and yeah like 
I went to uni, I graduated with childhood studies top up degree and I did my foundation degree as well before that and I graduated from that so that that way it made the whole degree I, I got the whole degree which was childhood studies top up degree in University College in Birmingham and Birmingham City University but when you're living in an African household and they have high expectations it's a lot of pressure on you like you gotta work not just for them but also for yourself you gotta want it as well so regardless if it wasn't for my mom I wouldn't be here today like if I was living with my real dad he probably would have married me off somewhere with some uneducated bushman so I'm very grateful um, but it just wasn't easy and listen guys like I'm also here to say that like even when you feel like it's never gonna happen for you or I've got the lowest of the lowest grades and GCSEs. It's never going to happen for me. Like, there's no point. What's the point in life? And, you know, don't think like that. Don't think like, you know, it's just never going to happen. Like, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Like, don't throw your life away just because of one situation. You've got to take that situation as a lesson. Get yourself back up and make moves whether you want to go to uni whether you want to go back to school college whether you just want to go through employment get yourself a car start a business you still can make it happen do not let anybody tell you you cannot make it happen in life because you can make it happen in life there's a lot of options for you okay you have to make that opportunity for you to go out there and make moves for yourself, for your life, for your future, to better yourself, to add value to your life, okay? Because at the end of the day, you can't just throw your life away just like that. You just can't throw your life away just like that because of one situation, because you didn't get good results, okay? You need to go out there and make moves for yourself, make moves for your future, okay? And trust me, it will happen. You're going to have a positive mindset and be like, you know what? I did that. I did that. Anyways, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys on my next video.